Well, is it going out there, everybody? This is Jordan Jones on the new Super Mario Bros. Wii tutorial. Let's learn how you beat World 8 Airship. 8 Airship. So, the Airship of World 8. Okay, something very important I didn't mention about this level. See, you see a screw right there. And when you see that screw, what you want to do when you stand on that screw is you just want to shake your Wii remote. And then it spins it, and then these platforms move. Okay, here's this first dark one. Okay, if you don't have the propeller suit, what you're gonna have to do to get this dark one is you're gonna have to jump on one of these cannonballs. But if you do have the propeller suit, it's very simple. So that's all you have to do. Very simple, so you have to do. Not difficult. That's all you have to do. Okay, so you can ground pound one of these blocks right here for a propeller suit, but. If, if you're playing for the first time, I recommend you start to level the propeller suit because it makes it a lot easier. And that's all you have to do. Okay, so this part, very important about this part. See, so you have these pipes rotating like this. So these pipes are rotating right there. So what you want to do is... You want to avoid the hits of these pipes. So you want to avoid getting hit by these cannonballs. And then whenever the green one's facing up, you can go inside it. <clears throat> and right here, you have to use this screw right here like we talked about. Shake your controller when you're on the screw. That's all you have to do. Okay, so here's what you have to do now. You have to do this, and then you have to go here. Excuse me. Okay, here's what you have to do right here. You don't have to wild jump like I did, but it's a helpful move if you want to do it. And it's fairly helpful to use, so we want to shake your controller right here. To get this platform up, and then you want to go on this platform, shake your controller again. That's all you have to do. Very simple. That's all you have to do. So here's your second star coin. Here's what you have to do to get it. Shake your controller, and you want to jump in the bottom right corner and get it like that. <clears throat> okay, so here's where things start to get really tricky. So your last star coin. Okay, so if you have the propeller suit, it's easy. It is possible to get without the propeller suit, but it's very, very difficult. So I recommend you not even try. So once again, you have to spin this screw and you have to jump down to the start one and then propel it back up like this. And that's all you have to do. Let's go over the whole level again. This time, no pausing this time so you can see what it's like when you beat it all the way through. So you can see what it's like when you beat it in full. No pausing this time so you can see what it's like when you beat it in full. So once again, it's a fairly simple level, but the difficult part is just getting the start ones. Because it will take some practice. Okay, so you want to stay on this screws and spin it like this. Remember that. Remember this dark one. You can get rid of by bouncing off the cannonballs. Or you can get it this way, which is the much easier way you can get it, is using the propeller suit. That's two ways you can get it. So right here. <clears throat> basically, what you want to do is... You just want to get down here, and then you want to wait until these cannonballs go, and now propeller up. If you do have the propeller, so if you don't have it, not a big deal. There's other ways you can do it too, by just avoiding those cannonballs. So basically what you want to do right here is, you want to wait for this pop to face up, and then go inside the green pop. When it's facing up like that, that's very important. So right here, well here's what you want to do. You want to shake your controller right here, and then you, so those platforms will go down. Very important. And we got all those coins right there, and that's good. But we didn't have to because they're not the most important thing. So here's what you have to do right here. You want to propel her up here. And then you want a propeller, you want to, not propeller on this screw, you want to use that screw and then spin the screw like this. And then we're at the checkpoint, very simple. Okay, here's what you have to do right here. You want to once again, spin your screw, try not to get hit right here. And then get your second star coin, because I recommend you use the propeller so you get your last star coin. That's all you have to do, get that second star coin. Okay, the last star coin is very easy with the propeller suit, but very difficult if we don't have it. 
So I'm not going to worry about doing it without it so we can do it easily with it. Here's what you have to do. You have to spin on this screw like this. You want to jump down to get your star coin. As soon as you get it, you want to propel it back up to safety. That's all you have to do. And here's how you beat the boss. The boss fight is very fun too. It's a great boss fight. <clears throat> so here's what you have to do in this boss. So once again... Okay, so he's in this big thing. It's this big tank he's in. If you get lucky, you can get an early hit like that, like I did by doing a ground pound at the right timing. But it's not like a two-frame window to do that. It's pretty difficult to do that way, but... So you, you don't have to worry about that. So you want to aim this bob bomb. You want to aim this bomb underneath him, and then once it's underneath him, you want to ground pound and have this bomb hit him. This will take some practice. Okay, to avoid these flames is what you have to do. Now as soon as it spits out, I'm gonna ground pound. Like that! Okay, so we have to watch out for whatever he's gonna do next. He's gonna breathe fire at us. So we have to watch out for that. Excuse me. And he's out. Very simple. That's all you have to do in the airship and in the airship and world eight. If you have any questions about the airship and world eight, please feel free. If you have any questions about the airship and world eight, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'm gladly answer it for you. And okay, everybody, that was it. Hope that was helpful, and have a good one.